I'm going to share with you expert advice from the team here at APS on how to tie three foolproof bolins on a sailboat. Uh, what is a bolin? Well, it consists of the loop and the knot, and both of these together is the bolin. What's great is um, you can create any size loop that you need, and you can load this up to the full load capacity of the line, and you can always just break this apart. It's the king of knots. So what's the classic way to do a bowlin? Well, everybody, I think, has probably heard of the rabbit analogy. So um, I've got the line. I'm going to have to let go of this. And with two hands, I create the hole. Rabbit comes out of the hole, goes around the tree, gets scared, goes back in the hole, pull it tight. Pretty foolproof. Now, if you're in the dark, rough conditions, uh, you want to maintain control of the line, I'm going to show you the three foolproof ways for three different instances of how to tie a bowlin on a sailboat. The first bowlin I'm going to show you is when you want to put a loop in the end of a line, say turn this into a dock line, uh, and it's totally black and dark out. So I'm going to feel my way around. I've got the line. I can feel how big the loop's going to be. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cross the line over with my two fingers holding the line. That's my guide. So that's one. Number two, I'm going to rotate away from myself. And I've still got control of the line, and I'm going to pass it off to these two fingers. And then I'm going to tuck my finger down here and pass it right back and pull tight. I've had my hands on the line the entire time, and I can just feel my way around. Nice bowling. All right, next way. This is the most common way uh, that you need to uh, be able to use a bowline on the, on the uh, boat is when you're tying to something. If this were the clue of the sail and this was the sheet or the head of a, a sail and this was the halyard you needed to bend this on, um, the loop is now facing away from me. So the knot has to be tied um, with a different technique. So if I pass this through, here's going to be my loop. And in this case, I'm going to put the line underneath. That's one. Number two is to draw the line back like this. Three is to rotate it. And I don't want to end up on this side. I want to be on this side. And that's why I draw down. If I just cross and I loop it, I could end up on the wrong side. So step two is to draw it down and make sure in the dark that that line comes on the right side. Once that's done, I can grab it and pull it through. All right. Finally, say I'm coming into a wharf or a dock, and I don't know how big the pilings or the situation is, but I want to prep my bow line. It's really dark. It's kind of nasty out. Um, so I can prep a bowline ahead of time. This is called the slip knot version. So in this case, the loop's going to be up here, and I'm going to take and rotate 90 degrees and create a loop. And then away from the loop, I'm going to grab this and put it through. And basically, I've just created a slip knot. So I can walk forward with this. I can go around basically a post, a piling. I just run this through, adjust how big I want the loop, hold on to this, and I just pull it. The knot inverts, and I end up with a custom-sized bowline. I'm going to show you how easy and fast these methods are, and I'm going to do it with my eyes closed to simulate being in the dark. So uh, if I want to put a loop in the end, all I'm going to do is over and pass this back through to my two fingers, and I've got a bowl in. So I'm going to keep my eyes closed. Now I'm going to go through, say, the tack of a sail. The loop's in front of me, and in this case, I'm underneath, twist, around, pass it back to these two fingers, and I've got my bowl in. And lastly, I'm in the dark. I'm going to go around a bunch of pilings, so I'm going to set up the slip knot bowl in, and I go forward, I go around the pilings, pull this through and adjust it snug. I've got the loop the size I want, and all I need to do is pass this forward, and I've got a bowline. So now you know how to tie a bowline in the dark. For more information, visit us at APSLTD.com.